Carlos Mendoza. Um, my question to all of you is, how many of you have pets or have children or any of those? Okay, well, what I'm, talk what I'm gonna talk about is <coughs> rat poison and rat traps, which potentially affect both, both either one of those. Just, and some of the things I will talk about is like, what the rats are and like why, what, what is, what is even the problem with them? And then some, what are the rat traps and what are the uh, different types of poisons and what you may want to use or you may not want to use or depending on the situation, what would be best for that and the places to buy it. So the rats are, um, yeah, Ratius Ratius, which is basically really from like Asia, kind of Europe, that's the black rat. And you got the Norway rat, which is like from Europe. With the name is in it, Ratius Norvegicus <coughs> from Norway. And then you have the um, the house mouse, Mus Mucus, which is just from Asia and Europe kind of region. And the place where I got information was from like the Ohio Department of like, Wildlife and other types of government agencies. There's another picture just of different kinds of rats. And, and here, here's the problem with the rats is that they can chew through wire, they can do a lot of a lot of droppings which can actually cause salmonella and trameacus and some other horrible diseases and like some of the problems that they have is like so they chew through pipes, they <coughs> have different holes they can get through and like even some of the, like your food and whatnot, sometimes they'll go through that. So that's not fun. I and mean, I'm sure you don't want to have any of those diseases from the pee or poo, like salmonella or any of those other horrible diseases. And some of the rat traps are like the T Rex rat trap, and you got the classic one, which the T Rex one's kind of a little bit easier to use because you like just press it down rather than having to set up the metal one and like smash your finger. That one you can just like clamp it down, put like the peanut butter, or cheese, or like berries, or whatever fruit and kind of sugary snacks the rats like to eat. You just put it in there and they get smashed. But you will have to see it though, so it's one thing to maybe consider. And then there's a homemade bucket one, which is just like a bottle with peanut butter smeared on it because it's like something tasty and delicious that they like. They can just run up there. And they try to go for it, and maybe they get it, but then they'll fall in the water and they kind of like either drown or they just kind of like, just kind of like, just paddle. Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the glue trap, which, uh, that's yeah, that's, <laughs> they just go on it and kind of just, like, and then there's also live cat, live catch trap, which you can, like, catch them live and then maybe call like animal control and get them to pick it up and take it away. Uh, and then there's different rat poisons or the most common ones are anticoagulants which are blood thinners. So what like it does is it kind of like stops the rat from building platelets and other things. So like if you get a cut then it'll like usually will stop because it'll heal up and you'll see like like a bunch of platelets usually go to that and what it does is it stops it stops the body from doing that and basically over time makes the rat just bleed inside and internally bleed and they just die wherever they go after. And some of the effects that it can have is like uh, if children eat it they can potentially die so you want to like call it um, poison control or if your dog or cat eats you want to call um, a pet hotline, which is basically the equivalent to animal control, but for pets. And then the first generation one is uh, first generation of, uh, blood thinner. The anticoagulants are a lot. They're just not as strong, but there's, they still get, get the job done. And then there's a the second generation, which was even is just even stronger, but they developed in like the 1980s and 90s because the the first generation wasn't doing the job and killing the Norwegian rat. The, the house rat or the black rat wasn't doing the job, so they made an even stronger one, which from the uh, EPA in 2014, they sent out a statement saying that after, at the end of 
15, basically they're, they stop producing it, but they will stop selling it, or the store should stop selling it by the 31st, March 31st, 2015. So usually you can only buy that if you're a, a farmer or has something to do with agriculture based things. And then there's the um, non-anticoagulant types of rat poison, which the bromethylene usually uh, paralyzes the central nervous system on the rat. So like they just get like all seizure and just, it's not just not pleasant sight. Yeah. And then you and then you have the chlorophyll I don't know how to pronounce it. The one with chlorine basically they get filled with uh, calcium and their bones basically their body just dies because they have too much calcium in the system. And then there's the zinc ph phosphate which has which paralyzes the digestive system and it also and paralyzes the heart too. It kind of screws up both their digestive tract and the the heart, so it's not very pleasant. And what animals are affected by the rat that is um, eaten? So you have like like the little predators that eat it. It's like the gray fox, the raccoon, coyote. Dang it! Bitch, <laughs> 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 fuck that. It's weasel, reptiles, and then like uh, you got hawks, cougars. Sometimes if the dog thinks, oh look, it's delicious, the, the little colors, and the cat, and the cat or dog may eat it, or maybe a toddler or oh. well, I mean, it. that's not good. It's not good at all. And then they'll have to call the pet hotline or you have to call poison control. Because one of those two places are good places if like you're just starting to see the symptoms, which I didn't entirely research what they were, so you may want to look that up. <laughs> but just know that there are places to call if you, if you see any of the symptoms and whatnot. And so, um, Pretty much the last thing is uh, where can you buy the, where can you buy like the different rat traps or you can make your, the homemade like bucket trap or other types of traps. Well, you can buy them like at Home Depot or uh, is that one in Eureka that is that's the main one. Pearson. 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 Yeah. Or like Walmart or at most grocery stores or any type of place, but usually hardware stores are where you can get better ones and why not. And so to kind of re-go over everything again, I talked about the rats and kind of like the different types of house rats and what they could do. You eat through your wires, eat through your plumbing, eat through your food, and you don't want that and you don't want any of the diseases like salmonella that you can get potentially from them. So I hope you have learned something about rat traps and rat poison and rats, and have a wonderful day.